know, su surprised a whole bunch of people uh, where we come out at in the league. And, uh, we're just going to have a fun, exciting season this year. So. That was LSU junior forward Wade Sims on Wednesday, September 26, 2018, just two days before he was tragically shot and killed near Southern University on Friday morning. A press conference with athletic director Joe Oliva and head coach Will Wade was called on Friday morning, and with other LSU coaches and administration lining the walls, it was clear more than ever that the LSU family is banding together to mourn the loss of one of its brightest stars. It's been amazing just in the short time how the, you know, everybody talks about LSU family and that sort of thing, but you, you, you can see that when, when, when things are tough and, and when things are hard. I've been doing this for over 40 years, and this may be the saddest day that I've ever experienced in my career. Now, it's still not clear what instigated the argument that led to the shooting. Baton Rouge police are still investigating. However, both Oliva and Coach Wade stressed that this will be a learning experience for all. You know, this is your worst nightmare as a coach. This is what you worry about, you know, at, 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 um, at all times. And, you know, there's, there's problems everywhere. And so you just want to educate your guys as best as possible to, to stay away from those, from those situations. And, this is a terrible experience for everyone, but at the end of the day, we need to make it a learning experience also. That, um, you know, that our athletes are out there and they have to be careful everywhere they go. Um, so during this grieving process, it'll, it'll permeate the whole campus and not just our athletic teams. The team had workouts scheduled Friday morning at 6.30, but Coach Wade had to use that time to break the news of Sims' death to the team. There were counselors on hand to help any players grieve. Sims' former teammates continue to take to social media with tributes. Reporting for Tiger TV Sports, I'm Madeline Adams.